the Central Murray's got a really interesting story in terms of uh, what happened to the fishery. Uh, you know, from the 1850s it was uh, heavily fished for commercial fishing, ph phenomenal catches of fish. You're talking about tens of tons a week coming from just one area. Uh, when the paddle steamers got going, they pulled all the snags out of the Murray. Floods were a big issue, so they built levee banks along the Murray. That stopped the floodplain being inundated, which is the main area for native fish to recruit. You know, by the 1920s, there'd been profound changes to the Murray River. And then there was a disaster. They built the first Hume Dam upstream of Albury. It was the first large dam regulating any river really in the Murray-Darling Basin. Anyhow, the dam was filling and there was an outbreak of algae in the dam and it was tainting the water. So they treated the dam with tons and tons of copper sulphate to kill the algae and copper is a lethal poison to fish. And they put so much copper sulphate to kill the fish in the dam, that was bad enough. They found the copper was corroding the steel sluice gates on the dam. So they drained the dam and they sent this enormous slug of copper sulphate polluted water down the Murray. And there were just massive fish kills all the way down to South Australia. The newspaper accounts talk about the, the rivers just being solid with the bodies of fish. One bend had 500 cod washed up on it. And, and they repeated that activity for three or four years. And it basically wiped out several species out of the central Murray and some parts of the Murray never recovered. So after the copper sulphate treatment, cod never recovered between Albury and just upstream of Yarrawonga. Macquarie perch never returned. There was a few Murray cod, few trout cod, but the fishery was changed forever. Stan Green was the first bloke to show me a blue nose. Prior to that, I'd caught a few and thought they were different. That's what the old blokes called them. I've heard them called rock cod too. Over 40 years ago they were pretty common, from the Gulf down to Barmer. Then they got pretty scarce, but they started coming back in the 70s and 80s. The trout cod were only caught in two places around here, up at Willacool and at Woodwood. Willacool is about 15 mile up the river from Swan Hill. They were considered the same to eat as the Murray cod, actually classed as the best. Back then, well, you usually didn't see a lot of people on the river. But you'd see all these old blokes heading up to Willacool. They'd say they were going up to get themselves a blue nose. I used to know old Ray Wilson. He fished the river from Yarrawonga right down past Wentworth. Old Ray used to tell me how he'd get the trout cod when he worked out of Yarrawonga. But he never ever saw one down Wentworth way. What he said would be right. He was a real good drum net man. One of the best. We have this picture of the rivers in decline over years and it's a slow wind down. And while that's true in some cases, uh, in European history uh, of our management of the basin, there's been these uh, mega disasters, copper sulphate treatments of the Murray. It just wiped out the river. The draining of the first Ilden Dam wiped out the Goulburn. There's several other instances of it. So the Murray has been a fascinating river to do research on.